All right, well, thanks for joining everyone. Today is August 1st, first day of August. And uh, I wanna talk about a couple of things that have been uh, popular lately, and there's some news on it. Thanks to one of my uh, subscribers, one of my clients, she sent me some article, and uh, it's kind of right along the lines of what we talk about on the biometric security data or security lien. And so before I get started there, I wanna mention that um, my content that I talk about and have been talking about for many, many years, 30 years of casework, I have encapsulated in a video series for different subjects. So you'll find those different subjects. Uh, hopefully you can learn some of the things, many of the things that I like to show people. Uh, you can find those at aceofcoins.club. Uh, aceofcoins.com is a website where you can schedule a time to talk with me. And you can also order a service, a consulting service, and speak with me one-on-one. -on -one. So I kind of break those apart like that. And then the purpose of these Thursday evening calls is just to talk about these very subjects and hopefully answer some questions you might have. I mean, I've got videos out there. I can probably answer questions forever because, you know, there's always going to be uh, a question. Appreciate that, Batman. All right. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess all the stuff I'm saying could be used against me, right? So hopefully I'm correct. But anyways, uh, so for about 31 years, I've been talking about these different subjects and Maybe some of them seem to be appear to be unrelated at first, but as you look deeper, you'll find out that my interest is being an entrepreneur. Sometimes it involves the practice of law. Uh, the system doesn't like that, but seems like my clients like that. Sometimes I can provide a solution. That's what I try to do. So I try to make money providing a solution. I don't try to make money with billable hours or selling documents. Some people want documents from me. Uh, I don't give out a document unless I can see a purpose you know um some people want to see how i talk to the irs about cryptos i only do that if you have a situation that calls for it and i definitely will teach you how to do that but again that's the reason why i have the video series so if you really want to just learn something or a concept um and then speaking generally there are ways you can learn some of these things now <laughs> what i did over the years since the 90s is just take on cases and then fight and claw my way to learning how to solve the problem. And I never experimented on anything, but I did research and just followed the law every time. And so what I ended up doing was learning, how, learning how the laws work in different types of jurisdictions, most of which involve administrative law. Like for example, your, um, your audit process with the IRS, for example. Okay. Or going to the DMV to get your license reinstated. Okay. That's all administrative law. Uh, so is bankruptcy, by the way, I don't get into that too much. So then uh, some of the things I, I like to show people, uh, uh, you'll see in my video series, is uh, how to offset their financial liabilities. I like to focus on property rights, okay? And my, I guess, principle involves private property. And you'll see me talk about that quite often in various subjects. And you'll find that these very subjects are actually have this common thread, private property, okay? Uh, believe it or not, private property or privacy, privacy, is a property right. So, you know, with that in mind, you have something to deal with, right? And and you, what you'll find out is almost everything you're doing, you're inter interacting with the financial system in some way, okay? The insurance companies, your credit system, your banking facilities, banking services, um, and the court system. This is all, uh, these are all banking facilities, okay? Banking. And I would argue that people are being underwritten. And if you want to talk about that, we can talk about that. Let me just mute this out real quick here. All right. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, so what I want to get started with uh, this evening is I want to talk about a couple of things. One is um, to start out with, let me just look at, uh, let's just get into the biometric security agreement. Okay. Since I've got that up here. So what I did is thanks to one of my clients, she sent me this article and you guys have probably seen it. It appeared, the one I saw, the version I saw appeared on um, Zero Hedge, and I'll just do a screen share real quick here, just to, this sort of underscores what I've been telling you guys. And I want to give you an example here. So let me just give you a, paint a picture for you. So it, maybe it, I hope it becomes more important to you. This is what I'm trying to get across because I could talk about this stuff, but maybe you don't care because it doesn't mean anything to you. Okay. But it's kind of like, here's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, what I'm trying to tell you is, uh, hey, someone just stole your car. Look, he's driving down the street. There it goes, right? I think I'm talking to you like that. And I think most of you are responding by going, oh, I didn't know I had a car, okay? 
So hopefully this might get y'all riled up. <laughs> <laughs>